Hello, beautiful souls. Maybe you feel as though you've been delayed in reaching some of those traditional milestones that others define as success, whether that has to do with relationships, career, work, or your life. I feel you've taken a very unique path here on Earth, and at times, your human physical self may find themselves falling into cross-comparison with the paths that others have taken. But I'm hearing your guides say you took this unique path for a reason. Everything is going according to divine plan. You chose to take a very unique, and when I said unique, my guides wanted to replace that with highly specialized path here on earth to do or be what you want to do or who you want to be in this world. And others may have even defined this at times as stubbornness, because I feel that you have a very rebellious spirit when it comes to conforming. Meaning, you are not one who is going to conform to what society wants you to be because, at a really deep soul level, you know, and you've always known, consciously or subconsciously, that you incarnated here to walk this very unique, highly specialized path. So these messages have been a little bit unexpected. But I do want to read a little more into this. So, what is this highly specialized path for the Divine Feminine Soul tuning into this reading today? Four of Coins, Shedding the Old, Letting Go. This card can also represent generosity and sharing. And I'm seeing that you, Divine Feminine, have always been one that is very non-materialistic. In the sense that you value people over things, you value emotions, your emotional connection with other people, over the superficial kind of connection on the surface. And because of this, you've always been one who is very open with your heart. Perhaps growing up, you were the type of person who would give anything to anyone around you, who would always volunteer to help people, to give advice to people. I'm feeling like you were one as well who would always come to the aid of the underdog, of those who were being mistreated unfairly by people around them. You are really one who fights for those who can't fight for themselves and who gives a voice to the voiceless. I'm really seeing that in your energy. And through all of this, you have been showing a new way, of course. And hearing that word, way shower, showing a new way to the collective consciousness, a way of breaking down barriers of division and separation, a way of unconditional love. And because of that, you've also never really fit into the old system the old way of doing things. And so, in fact, there may have been times that you yourself were mistreated or felt very misunderstood by other people. So here we have the attachment card in the upright position. I felt a bit of heavy energy coming through for some of the collective here, a bit of sadness. And I feel that for a divine feminine listening. Of course, these are just labels, divine feminine and divine masculine that could apply to your internal Divine Feminine, or Divine Masculine, or to an external person, situation, environment, etc. So take them as they connect. From Divine Muscular. Tyke, yes, if you believe.